So about a year ago we went to a wonderful place called Mildon Quarry, which is just off the edge of Dartmoor. Which, if you didn't know, you can actually wild camp in. One of the only places in England you can actually wild camp in. And it's only an hour and a half from my house. Last time, we enjoyed the refreshing Dartmoor natural pools and rivers. Almost a year later, we headed back. Beforehand, we went to Asda and picked ourselves up a £12 tent. And I didn't even know you could get tents that cheap. Which was a bit risky actually. It's not like there was going to be a thunderstorm tonight. After enjoying about six hours down at the natural pools, we headed up here into Dartmoor so I could get a view of Mildon Reservoir as the sun set. Which fortunately was on the edge of the map of the wild camping. Hey guys, we're in the glorious national park of Dartmoor, which you can actually wild camp in. It's the only place in England that you're legally allowed to wild camp. <laughs> As you can see, we've got a viaduct over there that's no longer in use. And over here, we have a dam. And we're in Mildon today, which is an old, uh, I think, mining village. There's no quarry down there. This sun is so hot. It's actually the hottest day in the UK right now. It's like, what is it? It's 23rd? Yeah, 23rd of July. Hottest day in the UK. And yeah. What a better day to wild camp than today, the hottest day. And it's just beautiful around here. Um, yeah, we've got a load of barbecue food and snacks. And we've just walked probably like 300 meters uphill, maybe 400 meters uphill. It's exhausting, we've still got quite a bit to go. We want to try and get on top of that hill there where it's flat so we can... And we bought a two-man tent as well. <laughs> that fell off the camera. Um, yeah, and it started rolling down the hill. <laughs> Luckily, there's ferns behind us, which saved the fall. Um, but yeah, I might actually take a photo here. So, I bought a new filter set. I bought a load of graduated filters and ND filters. I can just slide on in into this little thing. Also bought a shutter release cable, but turns out. It wasn't the right model for my camera to fit. Like a smaller uh, headphone jack. Just got a graduated filter. The sky is very... So, turns out I can't actually fit my polarizer on as well as this. And it doesn't come with a polarizer. Graduated filter on. And we're going to do one four hundred for a second. And we're at f7.1. And, and there we go. Onwards and upwards. We finally got all the way up the hill. We were down there last time we spoke to the camera, I think. And we were all the way down there swimming, right below where the viaduct is. And we came all the way up here. Uh, it was a hell of a walk, but I think it was worth it. We just set up the tent in literally probably 10 minutes or less. And yeah, it's actually pretty good for 12 quid, we only paid for that. And yeah, we're here now. We've got about two hours to sunset. Right, so I'm just going to take a shot of the composition I want for the sunset now, just in case the sun completely disappears because the clouds are pretty thick up here. And as you can see, there's some really, really nice, like lush, like painty smooth clouds up there. And hopefully, the sun's going to hit those once it sets. But just in case, I'm going to take a shot right now. But. We're looking pretty good. I think this is a crop sensor on my camera, 
So it's not going to be 15 millimeters, but this lens is 15 millimeters. We're shooting at 15 millimeters right now, but it's probably going to go to 18 because it's crop sensor. So, it's, but we've just about fit the whole length of the reservoir in, and I'm going to do one fifty of a second, f 7.1 again, and ISO 100. All right, guys. So I finally got my new 10 stop ND filter on which gives us, us an exposure of 5 seconds at f16 <laughs> so there was like two cars coming up like a golf cart and like a patrol van and we literally thought they would come to us but we're on we're just on the map for Dartmoor camping log camping it just ends down there so we're allowed to camp here as long as we're 100 meters from the road and we leave no trace the only thing i can see they might be coming up for is maybe because it's private land but there's nothing there's no signs i've seen that says private land i'm hoping it's just a patrol for these hikers here but if not they might be coming up around one mistake I made about camping here was the fact that everyone could see us. Never camp on the side of a hill. So I put out the fire straight away after learning that you can't start wildfires in Dartmoor, which I didn't know actually. I thought you could camp and wildfire. So I'm suffering a bit from hay fever right now. Um, but we came back out uh, an hour and a half later. The clouds are covering the sunset. It doesn't really matter much because, I mean, we've got some softer, less thick clouds at the back which is allowing the nice red tint through and yeah same competi uh, composition f16 and do 30 seconds so i can get uh, the reservoir like a mirror basically to be getting better now the sun is actually coming through the really thick clouds so we might actually get a pretty good sunset here i'm hoping that the sun will reflect or shine on the bottom of these like really thick clouds and yeah hopefully we might get some actual like shadows and stuff with these trees but you know can't get everything oh well so, yeah. Sun is just about set, and we've got what's this? The, the Dartmoor Patrol or something. The Rangers. They're going. They're driving around. And so yeah, the sun is like almost set, and it's I don't know. It's quite this really cool effect. Like you can see the bottom of the clouds. And it's all like really weird, cool effect. And I've just been taking the same shot over and over again because it. Every shot is so much different than the last. So here we go again. Another 30 second exposure F13. Uh, this will probably be the last one. So, guys, it's actually starting to rain right now because there's a few thunder clouds over us. My dad said it would actually uh, it's forecast a thunder tonight. And we bought the cheap tent, so um, it does, it's not double layered, so we hope it's water, it says it's waterproof. But it's, I don't know, hopefully it's waterproof. <laughs> We're going to be wet tonight. And then, just as we are about to hit the hay, then go to sleep to wake up for the sunrise, uh, this happened. And it turns out that there was going to be a thunderstorm tonight. <laughs> In a single layered. So we made a wide decision of packing up as quickly as we could. And the thunder was quickly approaching the wind was getting up the rain was howling and we legged it down the hill after that we woke up and we were drained of energy and i was bit to shit by gnats the midget
so we're here, I don't even know what this is called, but Mildon Quarry. Um, and this is the actual cliff that the same Bear Grills you repelled down. Yeah, we're at a filming location of, uh, what was it? I don't know. It's not in the Bear Grills, did, but yeah. Um, trying to get the reflection of the side of this cliff. And no one's in it, so we're getting almost perfect reflections. Just now, a case of doing it right. Uh, that was pretty much the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. A bit of a weird and scary all over the place video. But first, I went wild camping. It wasn't bad, I suppose. It could have gone a bit better. But I mean, it could have been a lot worse. We could have been shot by lightning. Uh, which quite grateful did not happen.